so today we are going to go over lesson six two uh, this is measuring area using non-standard units and what they mean is this right here this is what we've been talking about right here our uh, our square unit um, let's go ahead and change that that color here uh, and it's this little square right here right but a non-standard unit might be a square of a different size right so it says unit squares can be different sizes in this case the question is okay so we've got our typical square unit right here we can count these and we can find out how many square units we see in trans bookmark right uh, again remember my my way of doing this is to look at the side there are four of them here and then to look at how many are in each it's kind of like doing the arrays right so we've got one two three four five six seven eight up here so really we're looking at an equation right it's four times eight of course you can count all of those but you don't have to so in this case we have 32 square units okay but look over here it's the same bookmark but we use the bigger square unit right this is a different unit square and this time there are only two in the call two different rows and there are four of these in each row right so that is two times four which of course equals eight so in this one there are eight square units okay so it's the same the same area the same region but we are using two different size unit squares which means you will have different areas different numbers for your area so 32 square units and eight square units okay so just be aware when you see these problems that sometimes they are talking about what we would call a non-standard unit square something that is a a different size than the typical one that we would use so let's go ahead and take a, a look at here at our our next page in the guided practice section here now looking at these and you've seen these types of problems before let's look at uh look at what i always say to do first right we're going to go ahead and underline the information that they're giving us let's go ahead and we'll do that in this one right here so underline the information they're giving us okay we've got five unit squares how do you know now when they ask you how do you know you know that means that they want you to have something written here right which of these shapes has an area of five unit squares how do you know which one that's implying that they don't both well let's take a look one, two, three, four, five. This one has five. What about this one? One, two, three, four, five. Well, it was kind of a trick question, wasn't it? It says, which of these shapes is an area of five square units? Well, they both do. They both have it. So you would want to write both of these shapes have an area of five square units because both have five unit squares covering the region, right? There are no overlaps and they're covering the entire shape. Okay, now let's take a look at this one. Draw unit squares to cover the figures and find the area. Use the unit squares shown below. These are the same size. I'm going to tell you that right now. These are the same figure. They're the same shape. The unit squares are different. Okay, this is our small standard size. This is a bigger one. In this case, really, you're just kind of going to draw a line straight down. I know it's kind of uneven looking, but really there are just two of these right here. That's all you can fit in there. So, you know, this one's going to be two square units, All right? Now, what about this one? Now, these are a little bit smaller. Now, I'm going to try to make this a little easier, too, and I'm just going to draw a line here, and then I'm going to go like this, because it looks to me like this is how many of those little squares you're going to be able to fit in there. Again, they're a little, little uneven looking, but you get the picture. So two times four, and you're going to end up with eight. Eight. There we go. That's a great eight. Eight square units. Okay. Remember, I'm just using the SQ as a, an abbreviation for square. Okay. Let's scroll down here and just take a quick look at the independent practice section to make sure that uh, that you guys understand this. Now, I know that uh, drawing these is not necessarily fun, so just do the best that you can uh, to see what size fits, right? So on this one, you can kind of see it's kind of lined up. That's probably going to look something like this probably can fit probably that many in there right four on the bottom and let's see one two three and probably five on the side is what it looks like to me right so four here five here and then you will have 20 square units for your area okay now these are bigger 
this looks to me like you're probably just going to want to go ahead and draw a line straight down the middle. Wow, that that line actually does look kind of terrible. So let's go ahead and let's redo that one. Drawing and handwriting is bad enough on here. Might as well make it a little bit easier. Okay, so let's let's try to draw a better line straight down. It may not be perfect, but we're gonna draw it. We're gonna try it. Okay, and then it looks to me like this time it's something like this, right? So we've got two here and three here, which means three times two, and that is six square units for that one. Okay, so you get the picture. You're going to be doing the same thing with all of these. Here we go. This one's probably a little easier. One, two, three. That's it. Three square units for that one. Now this one, these are certainly a lot smaller, right? So you're going to want to go ahead and try to draw these in. Again, I'm not going to judge any bad drawings because look at mine. Uh, they look pretty terrible, but you're going to try to fit them in, try to make them look about the, the right size right here. Okay. Again, I know my drawings look terrible. And then you're going to count how many are in there. Okay. So you're going to do the same thing with all these. And just keep in mind, these are the same shapes. They're all the, the same. These, uh, these are the same. These are the same. However, it's the unit square, right? It's this that you're using to measure the area that is different. So keep that in mind as you go through it, okay? And just try to uh, try to do the best you can in terms of drawing these in there. If you if you have a ruler, that would probably be better because I'm doing this on here, and that's why it looks a, li a little bit messy. But um, go ahead and work through those, and let me know if you have any questions, okay? And I'll come back soon with another one, and I will always do another video on this as well if it's if this turns out to be um, confusing for you, okay? All right, I'll talk to you soon.